Good morning and welcome to this weekend's edition of the program. Nice to have you along. And we're going to open this weekend's edition by talking all things spring. Yay! She promised. It is time for our monthly chat with our good friend Carmela Gear, the director of Newport's Edward King House. Carmela, how are you? <laughs> I'm great, Art. How are you? Well, that's uh, that. That's I've been pronouncing my last name lately. Brrr, Ludi. <laughs> with good cause, I must uh, say. Oh my God! It's just, come on. But you know the good. Hey, but there's an upside to everything. Spring is less than a month away. Yep. It's the, they call it the vernal equinox, I believe. They do. It's scheduled for March 20th. And come heck or high water. It's just around the it's corner. It's going to be spring. Oh, <laughs> my God. Well, how are things up at the Edward King house? You folks surviving the winter okay up uh, here? We are. I have to say that this winter season has been the most trying, I think, yet for uh, the King house. We have had so many Mondays closed because of the uh, the weather and the amount of snow and the, the treacherous conditions outdoors yeah. um, that we were about ready to have a sign made, Welcome to the Edward King House, closed Mondays. <laughs> and then this week came along and we actually were open on a Monday and my poor staff and I looked at each other and we almost didn't know what to do with one another because mm. we were actually there on a Monday. Um, but indeed, we're hoping that those closed Mondays are, are behind us and we've got lots of plans for the upcoming spring season and whether there's snow on the ground or not, yep. we move forward. All right. Yeah. Well, we are um, heading into the month of March. Actually, If for those of you listening on our FM station, 99.3 Mix or Mix 99.3, I forget what order they say those things in over there. Uh, but it is actually the 1st of March as you hear this on a Sunday morning as opposed to our WDK folks who are hearing it on Saturday. But... Um, What's up for the month of March? March is a fun time. March is a really fun time. We have, appropriately enough, for the month of March, a parade in the offing in just a couple of weeks. But uh, what do you got going on up at the Edward King House? All kinds of things. You know, the, the nice thing about the month of March is that we uh, kind of push the envelope a little bit with regards to activity and, and kind of get the blood flowing and the juice is flowing again for uh, not only our members but for the public that we serve as well so you know in addition to our regular services and offerings we've got a lot of special events that are beginning to kick off in the month of March and Mother Nature and I have had a long talk we had a meeting and I uh, basically asked her forgiveness for whatever it was that we did that made her so angry this winter uh, we are uh, sorry we are sorry God, for whatever it was that we promised never to do it again get over it would tell us what it was that we did um but i, I you know the, there's so much going on in the month of march and that leads into april and then in, again into may that um i thought maybe today might be a, a great save the date uh session for us so the uh let's start with the garden club because when you think of spring all right i'm hoping that you're all thinking of of gardening and their speaker series continues on in the month of march on Saturday, uh, March 7th at 10 a.m., Master Gardener Linda Hall is going to be offering a talk on pollinators, hummingbirds, and butterflies. And if that doesn't entice you into <laughs> thinking something other than winter, I don't know what else can. And then on March 21st, we'll have a special guest from the Norman Bird Sanctuary who will be doing a talk on coyotes. And I have to say, this just happened to me the other day. I hadn't seen a coyote in my neighborhood um, in quite a while, honestly. And then on my way to work the day before yesterday, crossed right across traffic on Valley Road from the high school, going on down the hill. Cute little guy, but yeah. still, you know, a, a, a member of the community that really does need to be dealt with. And, and a lot of education, I think, needs to happen for uh, those of us who are are living either in the more rural sections of the island and even for you know folks like me who live you know by east and west main road where there is a lot of traffic that doesn't mean you don't see them so we really need to know everything that that we can to keep not only our own pets and our own domicile safe sure. but to also ensure that we keep the balance of life in order and in balance um, with regards to our neighborhoods and, and the environment. So that's on, uh, on March 21st. Um, our next winter 
slash spring um, class session actually begins on Monday. So the uh, re-registration re uh, session has been open for the past week, and um, it's not too late to register for any of our classes, either for the Newport Circle of Scholars um, or for any of our health and wellness classes as well. So lots of stuff going on there with regards to our regular programming. On March 13th, we're going to be offering an interesting twist on a Mardi Gras event. Um, we'll be having our Mardi Gras grown-up game night on Friday, March 13th. We're working with the folks from the Carnival Party who are going to be bringing life-size versions of some of those favorite games we used to play as kids. All right. Do you remember Kerplunk? Oh, Connect my. Four? Dominoes, checkers, right? Remember all those games you used to play as kids? Scrabble. Yeah. Well, Park. all of those games they're going to be bringing to the Edward King House, but in life size. So they're not tabletop. The Park. Kerplunk game is actually six feet tall. Pop, hot, bar, cheesy. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, so that, that particular evening looks to be a whole lot of fun. But we've given it a Mardi Gras twist. So instead of competing for prizes and that kind of thing, um, you'll be playing games and exchanging beads and um, you know, we'll have uh, popcorn and uh, carnival type concessions, and we're really looking f forward to this particular event. Wow. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Yeah. On uh, March 15th, we're going to be taking a trip to the Boston Flower Show. Oh, nice. I don't know how else to push spring, but to get people to where the flowers are. Yep. Um, this is an annual event for us at the Edward King House, and although it may be 50 below outside, it is gorgeous in the uh, World Trade Conference Center in Boston. And that's a Sunday, right? That's a Sunday. Yeah. Yep, we'll be there for the day. It's $25 per person. If you don't want to go to the flower show, you don't have to. It's a really affordable trip to and from Boston for the day. Come on along with us. Yeah. You don't have to go into the flower show. Spend the day in Boston. Just make sure that you meet us on the bus to go home later on in the day. That's a very good selling point because Absolutely. not everybody are into, you know, flower shows necessarily. Nope. nope. But, boy, to get up to Boston and back. It's really the most affordable way of, of coming and going to Boston for the day. Absolutely. And, and the venue for the flower show is pretty much right in the middle of everything. It really it? is. Yeah. It's, it's just gorgeous. So even if you change your mind and you didn't think you were going to go to the flower show and you choose to do so, you can do that. Or vice versa. If you decided, eh, I really don't want to do this. Do a little bit of both. Do a little bit of both. Sure. Absolutely. So those, uh, those tickets are open to anyone that would like to go. So you don't have to be a senior to, uh, to attend that trip. Just give us a call at the center, um, area code 401-846-7426. Or you can register for your ticket online at www.edwardkinghouse.org. And then, of course, tis the month of St. Patrick. And we always have... Uh, extensive St. Patrick's celebration at the Edward King House. On March 17th, on the day of St. Patty himself, we'll be hosting our annual St. Patty Silver Tea, where we break out those beautiful china cups uh, in the mansion and we'll uh, be serenaded, if I can use that word when it comes to a bagpipe, um, by the bagpipe sounds of uh, Master Liam Gear, a uh, 15-year-old bagpiper for the Ancient Order of Hibernians Pipe and Drum Band. We're partnering with Blenheim Newport for this particular event, um, and we've uh, got this wonderful little exchange going on for that day. They'll be having some of their residents come and join us for the tea, and they're inviting folks from the Edward King House to join them for a uh, traditional Irish dinner after the tea. They'll be transporting some of our, our members over to Blenheim to enjoy a traditional Irish meal, and then they'll bring them on back to the Edward King House when the event is over. Now, aren't those the folks that did the spaghetti dinner for you last year? That was Village House that did the oh, spaghetti dinner. Oh, that was Village dinner. House. Yep, okay. Yep. We I hope to you. be working with them again in May. That was the Mother's Day dinner. That's right. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. So, and, and really what you're bringing about is the fact that we do a lot of partnering with our, our colleagues in the senior industry. Sure. Um, just to make sure that folks know who they are, where they are, what they offer for services. And it's a wonderful social connection that, you know, one of the great things about doing some of these social events with our, our partners in the industry is that our friends get to see their friends mm -hmm. um, no matter where they are on the island. So it's a, it's a really wonderful opportunity for us to work together. Yeah. Yeah. So we're really excited about St. Patrick's Day. Um, 
And if we can uh, move forward and go into the uh, month of April, dare I go into the month of April? God, yo, keep going. I know. Please. So get your calendars out, folks. <laughs> this is you know, some of the things that you really want to mark on your calendars. We have a two pianos concert that's going to be offered on April 19th. Uh, again, it's a, a Sunday afternoon. Um, so we're really excited about that particular event. Uh, we're gearing up for our fashion show, which is scheduled for Sunday, April 12th. Our Run for the Roses event, now I'm going into May. Um, the Kentucky Derby event, which has become an, an annual fundraising event for the center, is scheduled for May 2nd for the uh, running of the Kentucky Derby. Um, we're going to bring back an oldie but a goodie. The center used to hold an heirloom discovery day, almost like an antiques roadshow kind of event. Right. Where folks could bring in their heirlooms to um, have them appraised. And yep. all the... the Proceeds from the event would go to benefit the Edward King House. And we have that scheduled for Saturday, May 30th. So mark your calendar on that one. Yeah, but I do because I remember, well, I don't know whether it was at the King House or somewhere, but those those things attract a lot of people. They do. They so. do. And we'd like to support our antique dealers, um, in the uh, our local antique dealers here on the island that, you know, the uh, – the ability to be able to appraise antique items is becoming a lost art, and we really want to support the work that they do for us here in Newport. So this is a chance for them to get out and to get connected to the community and uh, to benefit the work of the Edward King House all at the same time. Mm -hmm. So we'll have more information for that the, the next time. Yeah, again, uh, uh, I, wa I want to remind people we have CARM here once a month, so I know we're getting into April and some May events, but you know we'll be getting into more detail. In yep. Absolutely. Okay. And just a couple of more items for your calendars. Oh, sure. um, our, we're going to have a full-fledged annual meeting dinner on June 10th. We'll be inviting the public, and um, I, I, it's a secret right now. I can't tell you who our um, award winners are going to be, but we're giving out two community awards uh, this year, as well as our Volunteer of the Year award at our annual meeting. So we'll be announcing that. Uh, next month when I come to see you. Okay. Um, but again, that's June 10th at the Atlantic Beach Club. And we get to play at the Newport Flower Show this year, Ooh. which is very exciting. So as we are partnering with Blenheim Newport for uh, St. Patty's Day and hopefully partnering with Village House for Mother's Day, we're partnering with Atria for the Newport Flower Show this year. Um, mark your calendars on that one, whether it has anything to do with the Edward King House or not. It's a show you don't want to miss. Um, from June 19th to June 21st here in Newport. And we'll be working with Atria on some of the uh, concession booths that they will be offering. You know, I, I, I had no idea how, how big of a deal that Newport Flower Show is. One time I took a ride around the Ocean Drive and I came out on the Bellevue Avenue end uh -huh. during the flower show. I got on Bellevue Avenue. I went, good night. I mean, the people were everywhere. I know. Shuttle buses. You would think and... there was royalty here. And indeed, if you've never been to the flower show, it's a can't miss event. Oh. It's really something that, that uh, you know, when I think about it now and I envision the flower show itself, really takes you out of this winter gray that's mm. on the other side of that window. Um, but it, it really adds a spark of color and creativity that, you know, is, is really hard to find anywhere else. And as exciting as the Boston Flower Show is, there's something special about the Newport Flower Show that really can't be matched oh, anywhere else. Bellevue Avenue with the mansions. Mm -hmm. I mean, yep, absolutely. Just, yeah, you yeah. know, to be home in that kind of an environment is just. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You can't match it anywhere else. Nope. Kind of exciting. So those are the things that are coming up. And then, of course, we have our regular, you know, the services that we offer on a regular basis. It's tax time, my friend. Did you get your taxes done? No. You need to come visit us I at know the I Edward do. King House. I will like I did last there year. There you go. They did a fabulous job. Yep. And believe it or not, we got Mondays, which kind of scared me for a little while at the rate we were going at the Mondays being closed. No one was getting their taxes done. Yeah. Um, but the volunteers from the AARP Tax Aid Program come to visit us every Monday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. No appointment necessary. It's all done by walk-in, um, and it's a free service. So please come and see us up until tax time, up yep. until April 15th, every Monday. And they do a terrific job. They are fantastic. And if, for whatever reason, if Monday isn't good for you, mm -hmm. they also, I know they do some things, at the, they do a similar program at the Middletown Senior Center, yep. at the Newport Library. That's right. They were at the Martin Luther King Center one day a week last year. 
So look for their, you know, their schedule and find a day yeah. and a time that works for you. Um, I mean, not to take you away from the no, the no, Edward really, King. it doesn't matter where you get it done. We need to make sure that you get it done, and whether you come to the Edward King House or you go to the Newport Public Library or any of the other stations that they have set up, doesn't matter to us. We just need to make sure that you get it taken care of. And they do. Uh, let me tell you, and I know firsthand they do a terrific job. They really and, do. And there were even some other, some older folks there last year that had some kind of you know new different tax issues sneak up on them. Mm-hmm. They went and talked to these AAR people, AARP people, <laughs> <laughs> it's and problem solved. They're, yeah. they're really good. You know, we had a very special moment this Monday as we actually had an open Monday uh, where one of our mem- members came in to get her taxes done. And before she even got into the room to sit down with the consultant, one of the volunteers was doing a little pre-assessment with her mm-hmm. and gave her the great news that she didn't need to worry about it. She was at that point where... Um, she no longer needed to worry about getting her taxes done. So, wow. you know, the big grin on her face from year to year, from year to year, excuse me. And, um, you know, it was very interesting to see that happen as well. And then for other folks who had, came, had come in for the service, um, they were so glad to have someone who understood where they were in their time of life and knew exactly what it was that they needed. They got it done in a short period of time. And even for the folks that were there up until noontime, some of them joined us for lunch. There's my segue. Yeah, there go, you. Art. Talk about that lunch program. <laughs> I just printed out the March go. lunch menu off the website, which is, by the way, I want to plug the website. The website, www.edwardkinghouse.org. Okay. Now, just that, now we, you know, we talk about the lunches, and, and I just want to, I'm going to give you an example of, let me see, where do I want to go? Let's go, um... Let's go to St. Patty's Day. Let's go to St. Patty's Day. All right. Tuesday, March 17th, you're going to start with split pea soup, Mm -hmm. corned beef, Mm -hmm. seasoned boiled potatoes, cabbage and carrot mix, lime jello with topping for dessert, some rye bread, and you're going to throw in some mustard. Why? You got to have a little mustard with corned beef. Absolutely. Yep. And and this is for the outrageous price of... Of three dollars if you're s- if you're over the age of sixty. All right, right, and, and fifty nine and younger, it's a whole whopping five dollars. Just an outrage. So I'm going to start saving up today. For- <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, if is- you think about it, you could spend the entire day with us at the sure. Edward King House, get fed once, twice, three times if you plan it right. Mm-hmm. Have a little music, you know. Uh, in the middle of the whole thing and enjoy that entire time amongst friends in, you know, some of the most beautiful setting in Newport. But it really is the best kept lunch secret in town. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want the whole entree, you can have a tuna on rye. You can, absolutely. (laughs) And that comes with the soup. And with everything else. And the dessert. Mm -hmm. But uh, it is, it's really, it's, it's phenomenal up there. And I can't say enough about the, your volunteer help, but they're just so friendly and, we and have a, a really a great team. Accommodating. They do, they do a great job. They do. So what else, my friend? The uh, Senior Health Insurance Program still runs every Wednesday from 11 to 2. It's become a very popular program at the uh, Edward King House. Again, no appointment necessary. It's a walk-in service. Questions you may have if you're about ready to engage in a Senior Health Insurance Program. If you have questions about Medicare, um, you'd like to change the uh, the current program that you're in. Anything like that, our, our wonderful uh, program coordinator, Dale Dupuy from the Visiting Nurse Service will be there um, to support you on there. And I, I swear to you, Art, this woman knows everything there is to know <laughs> about <laughs> senior health insurance. Um, our wellness kiosk is open every day, but our Visiting Nurse Service comes the second Wednesday of every month um, to support folks who have questions about weight and blood pressure and Um, general health issues. And then our diabetes support group still gets together the second Thursday of every month at one o'clock. And and lots more just like that. The URI Pharmacy is coming on April 2nd to talk about headaches and how you can tell the difference between a migraine and a tension headache and when you should call the doctor and um, when you should worry and when you shouldn't. Mm -hmm. So... Great stuff. Busy stuff. And we should remind everybody that even though, obviously, the majority of what the Edward King Senior Center does are geared towards seniors, 
if you're a caregiver, you have an older parent. Mm-hmm. That's right. You have any questions about, you know, or do you need some direction if they can't solve your problem? That's right. They'll send you in the right direction Absolutely. and tell you who to go see. Yeah, we are your your hub for resources and for referral. And if I may do one last plug oh, our, by um, all means. before we wrap up. with the And I, I hate to go back to talking about the winter, but uh, safety um, on the streets and on sidewalks and, and while you're driving has become a, a big uh, priority for us at the Edward King House. We are always concerned about... Um, folks making sure that they are safe while they're in their cars, safe while they're walking. Um, the last thing we want is to have any of our um, senior population engaged in a, a motor vehicle accident um, or to slip and fall. So if you're going to be walking on the roads, please follow the rules of the road. If you're going to cross in a crosswalk, first of all, make sure you're crossing in a crosswalk. Jaywalking is still illegal. Um, but when you do, do not assume that just because you're stepping out into that crosswalk that the traffic can see you and that they're actually going to stop. Stop before you cross. Make eye contact with those drivers to ensure that they're going to stop before you actually engage in crossing the street. Um, make sure that you have you know, places to hold on to in the event that you're walking in an icy area. <laughs> and certainly if you're coming to the Edward King House and you know, you're afraid that it might be a little... Uh, treacherous for you to be walking in although we've cleared everything give us a call before you come we'll wait for you at the door and we'll ensure that you have an escort to get into the building it's a really crazy time of year and we want to make sure that everybody stays healthy and stays safe because in addition to all the snow we've had especially in the month of february uh, we've had some incredibly cold temperatures yeah and i tell you i you know i i took a spill or two almost on, um, you know, more than one occasion because it, it, it looks okay, you know, mm -hmm. but boy, what you, you can't see that it's slick or, you yeah. know, in, in some cases too, while the ice melt is trying to do its job on the ice, um, sometimes that can create a bit of a problem as well. So take it slow. You'll get there yep. and we'll wait for you. So, you know, don't worry. When you get there, you get there. We just want to make sure that you get there safe and sound. Watch out for those snow drifts. If you can't see the car, the car can't see you. Right. And if you're driving and you can't see what's on the other side of that snow drift, that means that whatever's on the other side can't see you either. Yeah. Take it slow. And uh, since you brought that up, just a, a friendly reminder um, for those of you folks that maybe use Memorial Boulevard, especially heading down toward Middletown from the intersection of Bellevue, where they're doing the construction for the International Tennis Hall of Fame. Yes. There are two crosswalks there. There is. And it is really hard to see people because of the mm -hmm. snow that's been cleared out of the street. Yep. Really be careful around those crosswalks. Absolutely. Because, some, like you said, some people all of a sudden from behind a snowbank, you mm -hmm. don't see them until they take that first step yep. out into the street. So uh, be careful in that neck of and the And I have to say, the city of Newport has done a fantastic job in clearing the roadways, but there's only so many places you can put the snow. Oh, absolutely, so sure. So when all is said and done, it's really up to us as the human factor to take into consideration that there might be somebody on the other side that you just can't see. Mm. Assume they're there mm -hmm. and take it slow. Yep, all right. Point well taken. Thank you, Art. Before we wrap it up, um, again, give me the website because there's a ton of great information on sure. it. www.edwardkinghouse.org. Okay. Did we cover it all? I think we did. Okay. Well, listen, we look forward to next month. Maybe you'll bring a guest along. That'll I'm be fun. I'm hoping to do so. To be announced. And as soon as we make it official, you'll hear it here first. Absolutely. Plus, you put these programs on your website. We do. We put everything on the website. So, yeah. you know, regardless of whether you have the hard copy of anything, all of our information is on the website. And don't forget, you can always call. There's always someone to answer the phone. Area code 401-846-7426. All right. See you in about a month. See you in a month. Well, I'll, I'll, well here, we'll hear from you yeah, in another month. I hope month. to see you at the King House well before the next time I come here. Oh, you will. There guaranteed. You Thanks, Carm. Thanks, Art.